And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Dropped with a punch. Boom. Stomping down. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. This isn't going to be pretty. Tyler Storm got a huge hanging neck breaker to Montez. What makes a great tag partner, Cole, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Tyler, huge elbow shot. Oh, no, Montez with the reversal. Gets tagged in. Right. Tyler Storm tagging in his tag. partner as well. Bulldog brings them down. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Ooh. Overhand right plans into the corner. Angelo. This can't be good. Cedric and Tyler really gonna have plan here in that double backstabber. Ouch! That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Tyler Storm now has got plan. Missing the moonsault, Dawkins able to get out of it. That was playing with. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Dawkins trying to get the submission. Storm now. And a drop kick to Dawkins from. He did it. Let's go. And Tyler now. And a shiny wizard. No way. And a shooting star to Montez Ford from the ring. Taking no account for their own well-being. And he tosses him back in now. Tyler Storm. Tag is made. Tagging in Alexander now. Alexander missing the clothesline though. Some time he doesn't have. Bullseye with the drop kick. Oh, oh good night. Sorry. And a neck breaker from Cedric Alexander. No, not allowing him to get the tag to Dawkins. And a drop kick to Dawkins. Alexander and Storm starting to work as a unit. As they do, have done so many times together. It's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Wicked clothesline. Picking up the lifeless body of their opponent. Up and down with the gut buster. And it's Alexander almost taking out Montez right there. Montez missing that springboard maneuver. Both opponents thinking of a maneuver and neither one getting the upper hand on that. Is Alexander now the low. The brain buster. Could this be it right there? But no, Montez kicking out. He's still in this match by the skin of his teeth. Tesso. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. And that huge jumping knee strike. 
And again, Cedric not allowing him to get the tag. Here he comes off the tag. Tagging in Storm now. Storm. Uh -oh. Hitting him with the signature maneuver there. Going up top. And Storm. Uh -oh. no Missing the shooting star press though. Finally, getting the tag into Dawkins. We're about to find out. And a double arm drag, arm toss. And Dawkins jumping over the rope. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. I'll tell you, this guy's no competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to take a lot to end this fight. Kyle Storm missing that clothesline. Duck getting back Nothing in the ring. Being left back. The Dawkins focused on Alexander. Tyler Storm taking advantage. And his knee strikes to the head of Dawkins. And another one. Strong now. Right the knee strike to oh, Dawkins. Right going for the leg. This isn't going to be again with that neck breaker. Gosh, this match is brutality starting to show on him. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. A great counter. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. A shot to the gut. Right to the midsection. Of Dawkins. Keeping Dawkins off his game. This is where Dawkins will be tough. Alexander Sagat, the Lumbar check. Cedric with a game ender. Just hot shot it. Could this be it? But no, Dawkins is able to kick out. Alexander, though, realizing he has a chance here. Check out the springboard. In a close line. Tagging in Tyler now. Setting it up. Tyler with a huge lariat. He has to be at his limit now. Yeah, this is a dire situation. What are we going to see here? Tyler Storm. Four, 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 four the win. And there's the save. But Montez able That's to break it up. Fighting. Tyler Storm. That springboard ends up Gurry. The WWE Universe is able to jump right back up. What's Tyler got playing here? What's Tyler got playing here? And a spear to Dawkins. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Storm. Right out of ringside and back to the mat. The close on to Montez. Tyler Storm. Is he going for another spear? And he hits it. Could this be it? And Tyler Storm picking up the victory for his team. And the Raw Tag Team Champions continue on their winning ways. A huge spear from Tyler to the outside and another one in the ring to close up that match.
and we are at extreme rules and it looks like we have some championship matches here for three kings ricochet and damian priest in a rematch for the intercontinental championship Gotta remember, Damian Priest did beat Ricochet after Ricochet had beaten him for the Intercontinental title. So you have to believe that that granted him this rematch here. The following contest Damian Priest Priest and Ricochet again. You gotta remember also, Priest is in Evolution and Ricochet is in Three Kings. Ricochet um, talking to Tyler and Cedric, breaking off Tyler from the Hurt Business. So this is also, in a sense, Team Warfare as well. Who's gonna get the upper hand here? Ricochet has been in this position before as champion. Can he hold on to the title though? Knee strike from Ricochet starting off strong. Priest already with the reversal. What's Priest going for here? In an Irish curse backbreaker. Ricochet kicking out immediately. Ricochet able to get out of the way of that maneuver. And a Death Valley driver from Ricochet. And that Pele kick off the ropes. Ricochet. You know, using his high flying ability, his speed, and, and quickness to try to ground Priest. About enough. Uh oh, top rope. And that huge hurricanrana from the top, me, the very top you of the rope. The of going for a pin for the Ricochet going for a pin now off that. The Priest out kicking out at one, ball, barely even a count at all. More than a one count by now. Look at that, countering Ricochet. And Priest just slamming Ricochet back down to the mat. Take down. And Tar ooh, just a little tackle takedown maneuver there. There he goes, right into the corner. Uh-oh. Ricochet able to get that reversal. And that forearm barely 
even grazing Priest, not taking him down, but looks like again able to get the reversal. And a boot thunder bomb from Ricochet going for the pin again, trying to you can see Ricochet trying to wrap this up quickly with Priest. And a job kick to the face. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And this time, take him down. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Firm control. And that just boot to the Ricochet though staying on top with the offense. What does Ricochet got in mind here? Ricochet. That close on from the springboard outside to the ring. Snap suplex. Missing that. Priest up going for the pin. Or ricochet this time with the quick kick out. And a neck breaker from Ricochet. Ricochet now going up top. And a shooting star press to Priest. It has been so exciting to watch this rivalry unfold. There's nothing here. these superstars want more than to defeat Tossing each other. I don't think you can even call this a rivalry anymore. It's more like an all-out war. It certainly goes well beyond anything we've seen before. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the strength. here. Dumping Priest on the table. But no, Priest able to go for the reverse. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Check out the springboard. And again with that clothesline. That was amazing. And now Priest this time. The shoulder block. Gets out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And he slides him back to the mat. Ricochet though, not falling into going out, but now he will and hits him with the pump kick right when Priest gets in the ring. Scattered it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Ooh, just a pop up forearm. Ricochet though, able to get that reversal. And a spine buster from Ricochet. The champ shoulders are down. But no, Damien Priest with a quick pin attempt. But Ricochet able to get the kick out. Ooh, just that maneuver, just getting enough to knock Ricochet down. You have to think Priest is feeling confident to be taunting like And a huge clothesline knocking. The champ not in a great place. No, it's just strikes from Damian Priest. Huge combo there. And again with that short attack or knocking outside of the ring. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Sky high. Ricochet though able to get through a verse of this time. Getting back in the ring though. Headlock driver. He's kept Ricochet down. Might keep him down permanently. Ooh, ricochet though again with the reversal. And a recoil. This be it. But Ricochet looks like he stopped the pin. What has he got in mind here? And a 630. This be it. And Ricochet retains the Intercontinental Championship. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ricochet! That was an impressive match all around. And here is our winner. It's always great to visit the pay win.
Honda, but a victory like this makes the winner Ricochet learning from the mistakes he made in their previous match and a much more dominant victory here. Again, Ricochet has been much more aggressive, much more just n no nonsense. He wants to get the job done. He wants to win titles. He wants to continue to grow and build his legacy. Ricochet stated a long time ago that he's not a heel or a face. He's just doing what he should have done when he first stepped into the WWE. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more WWE 2K23 Universe Mode content. Have a great day, guys, and peace.